Seven things the narcissist will do to regain their control over you. Narcissists want power and control. They want the ability to direct and influence your behavior and the course of events. They want to maintain influence and authority over you. They want to determine your behavior. When you push back against a narcissist, they can feel that their power is slipping away. Narcissists actually have no power of their own. Their game is to trick you into giving your power to them by acts of manipulation or gaslighting. When you hand your power over to them, they then have the ability to control you. When you push back against a narcissist, you are then realizing your own power. You are then taking your power away. And that is something narcissists do not like. They don't like it when you realize your power and abilities. They don't like it when you take back control over your life. They want to be in control of that so that they can continue their agenda so that the situation could work out in their favor. So although it is good to take back your power from the narcissist, there are also some possible consequences that you need to be aware of. There are some things that the narcissist will do in an attempt to regain their control over you. One, they will try to love bomb you. When the narcissist can feel that you're slipping away, they will bring back the false character. They will return to the love bombing. They will try to make you think that they're still the same person. As though nothing has happened since then. As though nothing has changed. They might give you compliments or buy you gifts. They might take you out somewhere. It's as though they finally remembered or understood what you like to do. It's as though they've suddenly just become this kind, caring person. But this is actually just an act. They don't really care about you. They're manipulating you. They're trying to regain their control over you. And they do this by placing their bait on a hook in front of you. It's designed to entice you. It's designed to lure you back in. They will try to attract or tempt you by offering pleasure or advantage. They will dangle a carrot in front of you. They will persuade you to do something by offering a reward. But it's not because they care about you. It's not because they have your best interest in mind. It's a trick and it's just designed to get them what they want. Two, they will enforce fly monkeys. Flying monkeys are people that the narcissist uses to do their bidding. They will often be used for an abusive purpose. But they can also be used to lure you back into the relationship. The narcissist will use their flying monkeys to carry information to you. As though they are trying to get you to see the light. They will try to get you to think that it's in your best interest to return to them. As though they just want to resolve the situation. When really, they've been tricked into feeling sorry for the narcissist. The narcissist may have led them to believe that you have abandoned or neglected them. In some situations, 
the flying monkeys may be pressured by the narcissist to act in this way. The narcissist may be intimidating them. But either way, this is just designed to lure you back into the cycle of abuse. The narcissist has no intention to change. They don't even think they've done anything wrong. And they will do whatever it takes to pull you back in. The flying monkeys may come to you, telling you that the narcissist is sorry or they promise to change. But once you re-engage with them, they will only go back to making you feel like you are the problem. They will make you feel like they're the ones who are giving you another chance. Free. They will gaslight you. The narcissist always has to be right. And they will force you to see it this way. They will manipulate and lie to get their way and convince you that you're wrong. They will try to make you believe that you got the wrong idea. They will try to make you believe that you misinterpreted their actions or words. As though they never intended to cause harm or distress to you. They will try to make you believe that it was just a misunderstanding. Even though they are fully aware of what they did. They will say or do almost anything to pull you back in. And they can make it very believable. But you need to trust your intuition. There is a reason why you pushed back or went no contact with the narcissist. They said or did something that you didn't approve of. And unless a person holds themselves accountable for their actions, nothing is going to change. But in some situations, they will just come out and admit what they did wrong. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. They will act like they are so understanding and that they will never make that mistake again. But this is still a part of the manipulation. They have no intention to change. They're not sorry for what they did. They're just sorry that they got caught out. They're not admitting their wrongdoing because they want to be a better person or because they have your best interests in mind. It's still all about them. They're just saying it to get you back. Four, they will isolate you. They will try to make you believe that your family or friends aren't really on your side. They will try to turn you against them. If that doesn't work, they will try to turn them against you. They will start a smear campaign. They will tell them private information that you confide in them. They will try to portray you as this horrible person who has bad intentions. And then they will return to you, pretending as though they were not a part of it. Pretending as though they don't know anything about it, or they don't understand it. This is designed to make them your only source of influence and information. It strengthens the trauma bond, and may make it even more difficult for you to escape. Five, they will monitor you. 
They will wire your home or car with cameras or recording devices. They will violate your boundaries and even watch you in your bedroom or bathroom. They will even let you know that they are watching. This is designed to humiliate you. It's designed to injure your dignity and pride. It also makes it very difficult for you to tell anyone because most people wouldn't believe someone would be capable of such sick and twisted behavior. But this is designed to keep you under their control. It's designed to make them feel like they have power over you. Six, they will deny your freedom. They will control your freedom of movement and independence. They will restrict your ability to make your own choices and decisions. They will stalk and harass you. They will monitor everything you do. This is designed to intimidate you and force you to do something that you may be unwilling to do. Seven, coercive behavior. They will engage in a pattern of acts of assault, threats, humiliation, and intimidation. They will try to harm, punish, or frighten you. They may even involve law enforcement. They may threaten to sue you. They may blackmail you. They may demand payment or other benefit from you in return for not revealing compromising or damaging information about you. They do this to regain control over you. They do this to make you do what they want. I hope that these seven signs have been helpful to you. I hope that they have helped you to understand the ways in which the narcissist will try to regain their control over you. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will talk to you in another video very soon.